<laughs> yeah. Welcome to Glad You Asked uh, podcast. I don't know what this is, but I do know that this is episode 24. We're coming up with names here because John Lopez is not here actually to join. I'm Jeff Henderson. I'm here introducing the wonderful Eric Chan. Eric's going to take us through to his page. Go ahead and slide over All to right. your page. We're sliding over. Uh, he's going to tell us who he is. It's one of our first guests on Glad You Asked. John is late because John went to the wrong, wrong studio. Uh, Thanks, John. Obviously, our producers did not <laughs> tell him where to go, except for the text that he received. Yeah. So when he watches this for the first time, he's going to laugh because we're making fun of him because we love him. <laughs> uh, but let's start yeah. with Eric, who's come here all the way from Canada, I believe. Tell us yes. about yourself, Eric. So I, I was born in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And Ottawa is like the national capital region. So like, this okay. is where all the politics and all that stuff going down, <laughs> which, you know, that's another <clears throat> completely different discussion. That's fine. That's fine. You uh, got Trudeau, right? Yeah, we got, we got that Trudeau. You know, we got... <laughs> Got that going down over there and uh, and recently met 45 but yeah <laughs> so um that being said i am from ottawa ontario and i'm a digital artist uh, i go by my artist name uh, eatmon e-e-p-m-o-n um, why eatmon i get that a lot and eatmon is basically a twisted name of saying ape man like a monkey uh, i was born in the year of the monkey in the chinese zodiac i love monkeys like my spirit animal um Oh, that's a little bit of a shot of me. But this is like the Eatmon leather jacket that you're seeing right now. I, I created this jacket. It's got my logo, everything embellished in it. Uh, but I like to keep it simple. I think part of my aesthetic is that I know that my work is very intricate, very detailed. Let's check out the rear of the rooster. Um, Are you click yeah, on? we click on that. Yeah. Feel so, free to drive. oh, all right. You just like to keep it moving so that people yeah, who are watching. Totally. Can we're gonna do that. So, uh, so this is, for example, very intricate, very detailed. But you know, also, if you, you know, it's also very simplistic in a way. Uh, if you look at the individual pieces, which we'll uh, we'll dive into a, into a different chapter. Um, so I uh, been working under Eatmon, like my own company, for ten plus years. And uh, what were you doing before Eatmon? Before Eatmon, uh, oh tell boy, give us your journey. How my you journey. Manage? So basically, my journey was like, I loved to draw ever since I was young. Uh, but like, of course, like, um, I was into Nintendo, into video games. Uh, here, I mean, I'll let you draw. For, for, for <laughs> you some reason, I'm having I... a problem having multitasking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm scrolling and trying to scroll describe my, my, my life history. I like that. I like, like that. You know, That's honesty. I can't do both, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so base and, and so therefore, um, uh, you know, I... You know, it, it was a very, very, very like unconventional way of becoming a digital artist. Okay. Uh, I have a background in computer science. Oh, really? Yeah. So I learned, I learned the a world of coding, the the world of like you know, uh, uh, like do, doing inter user interfaces, okay. coding C plus plus, Java. Okay. That kind of like kind of got me thinking differently yeah. about how to to do things and. Um, and then, but I was always a big, you know, Photoshop user. I started using Photoshop when Photoshop version two was around and I've completely fell in love with it. Okay. Uh, but in high school, I was in the art school. So I was, I was in art program. So I, I learned uh, traditional art, painting, life drawing, photography, cer um, etching, ceramic. So okay. it, it's a big melting pot of all these different disciplines and these different interests. Like I, I never thought I would get into computer science, but you know, at the time my marks were Goddamn, like crazy, awful. Sorry, about, sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. No worries. It, it is awful. So like, the only thing that I could do is like, you know, well, my marks were good enough to get to college and comp something computer related, and I decided, yeah, why not? I'm interested. I, all I knew at the time was I'm interested in computers. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Right. And then through that world, you know, computer science really kicked my ass because I had no idea how to program. But then it was like boot camp for me. I learned how to do things. I learned how to like, oh wow, there's certain courses that I really picked up on. One okay. of the one, the one, one of the courses was Java programming, and our assignment was to create a calculator. Create it, okay. So you have to learn how to do user interfaces yep, yep, using yep, yep. Java swing components. <laughs> you were really coding. Yeah, we were really coding. <laughs> you you were press really a coding. button, and then suddenly a digit appears in the calculator, like in the in the in the virtual calculator, right? Yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I was like freaking out. I was like. Holy cow! This is not t command line terminal now. I'm actually creating <laughs> like graphical user interfaces. Oh, okay, okay. So that kind of that kind of merged my interest of design, art, and technology, right? Okay. And that was during 